Welcome to this mobility site. The video first looks. Hey guys, Chris Lightness Mobility Site.com, and I have the Barnes and Noble Nook in front of you. Just got this in today, and I'm liking it a lot. It's quite thin. So I've already done the unboxing via photos, so I'm going to do a little hardware tour here. On the top of the device, you have a couple notches here, and the power button, and another notch there. And those notches are probably going to be for like cases and stuff. When the case that this came in, which was just a plastic, you know, clear plastic case, display case, it was clamped in there like that. So I can only imagine that's what the purpose of this will be. Another thing I want to show you real quick first, if you can see from that top angle there, it's concave in here. It uh, kind of protrudes out here, then it slopes down, then levels out, then slopes up onto this side. Gives you kind of you know a little hold there, a little, little ridge to hold on to. On the sides, there's nothing. Uh, there is a, another little notch there, and that is so you can take off this back cover, which I'll show you in a little bit. On the bottom you have two speakers, uh, two more of those notches, a 3.5mm audio jack, and a micro USB slot. On the side you have another large notch like I showed you and then on the back all you have is this kind of, it's got a little rubbery feel back case on it with the Nook logo. On the front you have two buttons or two sets of buttons, both of them are identical, this left and right, up and down, they're separate individual buttons. And if you look closely, the buttons are a different texture of the, uh, this is glossy you see, and then it doesn't, it's not as glossy from here to here. And there's also a raised little dot there so you can find the position on there if you're uh, in the dark or whatever. Then you got your Barnes & Noble logo. This is a 6 inch uh, e-ink e, e or however you say it uh, display. It's not a touch screen, but this is. This is a, I'm not sure, a 3.5 inch uh, touch screen. And it's color and it's not really all that vibrant, but it works. And it's used primarily for navigation and information. So we'll go ahead and turn this on and what you see there on the, is a uh, screen saver and there's several screen savers to, to show you when you turn it on you've got your background your wallpaper and then down in the small LCD there you've got the daily my library shop reading now and settings so if we click on settings if we click on settings <laughs> it brings up some settings and you can scroll through the settings by just doing that number there and uh, every setting everything menu you have you got a back button here but you've also got arrows here that indicate that you can dive down deeper into that menu um, so we can go here click on Wi-Fi oops no we don't want to do that good it didn't take it click on Wi-Fi and there we go Wi-Fi is on hotspot disconnected um, if you haven't read anything about this nook here this also uses um, AT&T 3G, it's actually got a SIM card up under the cover here with a removable battery as well. <coughs> and I'll show you that in just a moment. But uh, it also, you've also got Wi-Fi built into it so you can hit Wi-Fi hotspots and whatnot at the Barnes & Noble stores and what all these places for different places. So uh, up here, while you're doing that, or while it's doing that, you've got a summary of what's going on. You've got a no micro SD slot card installed which I do not and then it's showing what I have available of the 2 gig of internal storage it tells me my battery charge is at 87% and shows me that I'm disconnected from Wi-Fi hotspot so um, and this right here in the center that's how you bring your menu back up or go back home as well if you wanted to so we'll go back to settings we'll go back to settings there we go oops it's uh, not as responsive as I'd like it to be always, but you know sometimes it is. So on dis the display setting, you've got a sleep timer and you can change that by clicking here and picking what you want it to go to sleep at. And we hit our back button there. We've got a wallpaper and I've got the nook pattern selected. They have a few others 
here we can go to uh, well, let's just say falling leaf and uh, then we've got auto adjust brightness touchscreen brightness which is this part here and touchscreen timer when it times out clock format so uh, we've got screen savers and you saw that Seattle background there you've got screen savers where it just randomly puts up pictures in the same format that this reads or displays uh, authors nature and cityscape so I've had it on cityscape since I first turned it on so I'm just gonna go to that one nature instead so we'll click back on that uh, device not a whole lot to select here you can edit your profile unregister your nook or res do uh, reset your factory settings alright we'll just go back from there and the next thing we have is contacts I don't know why you would want that but you can set up contacts in there and then you can open audio player this also allows you to <laughs> what to, come on there we go it allows you to upload some music via USB through the micro USB slot there and have music on here so if you want to listen to some classical tunes while you're reading a book so that's about the only reason I would think to use it because definitely don't want to listen to Metallica while I'm reading a book and there you go there's the falling leaf screen that I was uh, that we changed it to in our settings alright back to settings I believe that was it to show you there yep that was it so we'll go ahead and hit that to go back and next we have the daily which is explained to be a place a kind of like a meeting place of what's going on in the store I haven't had much of a chance to look at it but you can see there it's got some information on there and as things refresh the screen acts kind of interesting here and there so down at the bottom you can sort show an open audio player so uh, we'll go back to the front page and here's your library this is where it shows what content you have on your device I've downloaded a free ebook I've downloaded breathless which is a new DR Kuntz book for my wife and then there was three books that were pre-installed on the note which are Pride and Prejudice uh, Dracula and Little Woman Women so and that is your oh and uh, let me show you one more thing it's gonna go back here show covers you can actually look at the book covers down here which is kinda trivial so anyway um, going back to the main menu here you've got shop which it uses as you can see you've got your, your time and your indicators up here that uh, show you wow I can't get it up there there we go you can see the um, the signal there your battery life and your time just as you do on a cell phone so there you are it's loading the store right now and I fear that my connection out here is the edge connection that it's going to be too slow to really demonstrate so I'm going to go ahead and parlay that and uh, hit cancel and yeah so down here on the menu though in there you can search oh wow it did finally came up you can search the store browse the store look at collections e-wish list open open audio player and here as you can see you've got the arrow next to best sellers right the way you maneuver is you use these right here to maneuver you see I'm up on ebooks now to actually select that category you select that dot right there and it takes you into that category which we're looking at probably another slow time here so let me go ahead and cancel out of that again and I will go and bring up a actual book that I have on here and show you how it looks <clears throat> excuse me alright so we'll go down here to breathless by Dean R. Kuntz and click select there and there we go down at the bottom you've got your uh, book cover and some information there and there's the book right there there's the overview and to change pages you flick like that and sometimes it takes a little longer sometimes it doesn't 
I'm not overly impressed with the page load speed of these things. And this has nothing to do with the connection to the internet here. This sh oh, you know what? I'm actually I was re that, that was my mistake. I was actually reading the information about the book, not the actual book. I apologize. So here we go. Part one: Life and Death. And here's a page turn here. See how long that took. I don't like the way the screen flickers like that either. So there you have it. That's how you change the pages. It's a really good looking screen though. And it looks excellent outside. This screen looks terrible outside, but this screen looks magnificent outside. Looks magnificent anywhere you look at it, really. So, anyway, that's about it, really, to show you. It's an uh, ebook reader, and I am going to get involved in it and do some testing and tell you what I think on mobilitysite.com. This is just a quick look here, and I appreciate you watching. Thanks for checking out Mobility Site on YouTube, and we'll talk to you later.